got the badge, the looks and the pedigree, but this Mini is not what it seems. Under the hood, no roaring engine, instead a mass of batteries and electronics. This is the Mini E, a fully electric working prototype. It's one of many electric cars under development by major manufacturers and was on show at this month's low carbon vehicle conference. The Mini is designed to go 100 miles on one charge, not much use if you're on the motorway, but enough range for about town. Ben Stratford is one of the engineers working on the Mini E and he took me for a quick test ride. A speedometer, okay, which is standard Mini and then the fuel gauge is now replaced with a power gauge. Okay, so um, it sits at the 9 o'clock position and goes around towards the 3 o'clock position depending on how hard you accelerate. When you come off the throttle it goes around towards 6 and that's the regeneration showing you what you're putting back into the batteries for free. It's the silence of the car that's the most startling and although it has plenty of acceleration, something odd happens when you take your foot off the pedal. So I'll accelerate now just so you can feel it go. Okay, and then I come off and we go into regeneration without me touching the brake as I slow him down. So you didn't touch the brake then when we... No. What, how does that work then? Why is that technology there? Basically, um, what you're doing is you're trying to charge the batteries up for free. Um, so uh, whilst the car is slowing down, it's using the forward momentum and the weight of the vehicle to turn the electric motor to generate electricity. So it turns from a motor to a generator. The Mini can be charged through a conventional 13 amp plug. At 240 volts, it takes about eight hours. So in reality, that means overnight charging. In trials, it was well received, but it has no back seat and will never go into production. So why was it built? The Mini E is a really big learning experience for us. Uh, we produced just over 600 Mini E's and we've released all of them to real users and real customers. So the Mini E is the first very important step for the BMW group in terms of learning how the electric car functions with real users. Uh, there are a lot of question marks out there in terms of how electric vehicles are going to be used in the future. For example, is range a major barrier? How much charging infrastructure do we need? So we've set up the project not only to learn internally, but also to learn externally. And part of the Mini E experience has actually been sharing our learnings with our users, with stakeholders, with government bodies, with policy makers, and, and within the industry. The Mini is BMW's first serious foray into electric cars. And though it'll never be in our dealerships, BMW will be launching the fully electric mega city in 2013. Sumit Bose, Energy Live News, Bedfordshire.